Um, this is the plot in the middle of July 2013. Um, I haven't done much this year, but the fruit bushes have really come out well and it seems a very good year this year, making up for last year. The, um, there's a hose from the top of the plot to the bottom of the plot and I've um, linked it up to the top so that it fills up the water but automatically there's a stopcock in the water butt which um, stops the water when it's full. I've moved all the paving slabs to the end here because I hope to put in a land drain right down the the old length of the path. I'll just take you through. I've the weeds are taken over so I have to do some weeding. Um but I've put um some sixteen or eighteen um tomato plants in tomato rings on um grow bags and they're coming along well. Um, I've planted some um, runner beans and they're coming along quite well. I've um, put in an, uh, an underground watering system there to help it um, to um, water it and I've also put in a watering system here which um, waters the tomato plants. That's, that's switched off at the moment because it's under mains. You're not meant to <coughs> water, water directly from the mains, but you can through your own water butts and IBC containers. The um, new raspberry canes, these are Bryce raspberries. They're struggling a little bit. I've, I found out that the um, soil was, was too acidic, believe it or not, for the, the um, raspberries, so I put it on a lot of lime and they seem to have recovered from the acid soil. I've um, cropped three of the gooseberry bushes and the, the um, gooseberry bushes that remain are absolutely laden with gooseberries and I've made 15 kilner jars full of bottled gooseberries just from those those three bushes there and I've got two more to do. These, these, these gooseberries here are called in, Invicta and, and they seem to really um, like the soil. As soon as I crop the gooseberries then I thin the gooseberry bushes out to, to help um, prevent the weed, the, um, the um, viruses and, and the, the, the infections that they can get in August and September. I've got three strawberry bushes, strawberry beds, that um, at the moment in the middle of July are absolutely laden with with um, strawberries. I, I um, cropped them yesterday afternoon and overnight they've, there's lots more strawberries that, that have turned red. So in the middle of cropping those, these are the ones just from one and a half of the beds. So I've got about a double of those. Last night, um, yesterday afternoon I um, got about three times that amount. So for, for absolutely crawling with strawberries, as you can see the weeds, the plum tree hasn't got any plums on this year at all, which is a bit strange. I've, I've, I've been given this, this um, black currant, two black currant bushes, which seem to be coming along, they are quite young, and two um, red red gooseberry bushes that my wife bought for home but that's the the um, shamrock looking very 
healthy and happy. The um, black currant bushes are still green, they haven't turned black yet. I had some spare um, runner beans, so I've planted them in the old raspberry patch. The, um, the uh, rose bushes are looking absolutely fabulous like on last year and the, the um, white, the um, rose bush there has come out quite n very nicely. That's, that's the white one. I'll have to find out what, what the, what's that called. The um, pink one over there I mentioned last year was is Albertine Rambler, a very vigorous plant. But this rose here I can't, oh yeah, what's it called? It's called, that's called the, the, uh, the oh, garland. Just stab myself with a rose. That's called the garland, it's very nice, yeah. Take you around. We have a, a new plot holder that's Strimmed it, strimmed the plot next door, seemed to know what he's doing. We haven't had the flooding. The uh, compost heaps have moved down to this end of the garden. Um, I've stacked up some wood ready to get my chainsaw out. All I do is stack up the wood on that and just go down each of the slots and chop it up into firewood. The um, blueberry bush that didn't, was almost died last year is now looking fairly happy. Lots of rhubarb to crop to, to get some of these I planted from seed and it looks as if the Seed is it is partly rhubarb and partly wild plant, but I, I'll have to pick some of this rhubarb. Loads of it. The um, cold frame I, I opened up and the wind caught it and smashed the glass. I haven't yet um, re replaced that. I have a a um, little little sun thing which which powers a a a um, pump which pushes water through the pond. The pond is pretty choked with lilies but I'll just um, take you around. That's my um, rubbish tip that I, I need to um, clear and tidy up. This is is Eric's plot, working hard as you can see. Eric and Jack work very hard on their plot. They, they, uh, at least that's what they tell their wives. <laughs> but they, they come, come down here for a good chat and a cup of tea. This is my hat. <laughs> uh, and, and, and my two friends will be on, on YouTube by this evening. <laughs> And that's Terry's plot. Ta-ta. This is, um, we have some pears on the pear tree. We, we may even be able to eat them if they don't fall off. I'll just take you around the back. And this is, this is my fairy, fairy glen. It's an actual fairy that I've put there, but it's very overgrown. I need to cut the grass. And that's it. My good old pot. This is the um, produce of, of um, two of the, of the gooseberry bushes. Um, three years old. These are 
are in Victor gooseberry bushes and the pH was just right and the um, fertilizer requirements were just right and, and the yield is up this crop absolutely huge for um, just just what you want it was very boring um, picking them and you got scratched to to um, pieces but that's that's what what you get with with a good bush